Where in your life are you convincing yourself or others that you don't have the time, the money, the energy, the resources to pursue and achieve and ultimately receive your desires? We are given soul desires in these bodies, in this lifetime. And so often we look at our external circumstances and we say, we can't have it. I have this and this and X, Y, Z. And ultimately everything that is put in your path is actually priming you. And this is so easy for us to forget, myself included. And today's channeled message is really reminding us of this on a soul level, on a deeper level, reminding the body that everything that we desire from our heart, from our soul, it is meant to be. It is encoded within us to have, do, be, receive, and achieve. And so with that, just inviting wherever you are to taking these few moments for yourself, taking a big deep breath in. And with that, let us dive in. The alluring nature of deception. To deceive yourself and others when it comes to what you truly desire and wish for in this life. Many of you are convincing yourself, others, and your life that your desires need not be. That they are not important or that they do, that they are not, or that they are too grand or big to be achieved and received. That your desires and wishes that you feel deep within you could not be accomplished, that they would take too many resources or too much time. And so you settle. You say there is not enough time. You say there is not enough money. You say there is not enough energy. And meanwhile, this spark within you slowly diminishes, contracts, and grows a fainter each moment of you denying your truth. And when denying your truth, this desire will not disappear. It rather gets buried within the body and will manifest in many types of ways, a sickness, ailment, pain, or dis-ease. For if you're for your body is your greatest catalyst and guide for that which you want and desire in this life. If the body is not responding to you as you desire, this is simply an invitation to make adjustments to how you are living and what you are believing to be true. Now, yes, there are supplements and dietary factors that will play into this equation from time to time. And yet, if you do not address the underlying energy, no pill or food will address your body's longing and desire to create and become what your soul is desiring in this lifetime. Yes, there are circumstances and situations that will arise that will take time, resources, and energy away from what you are from you achieving what you desire. And we assure you deeply, you are not given anything which you cannot overcome, address, and conquer. Any perceived obstacle is an opportunity and even perhaps the priming energy and opportunity necessary for what you are calling forth into your reality. Each perceived setback, a divine opportunity to strengthen, fortify, and amplify you, your light, and your power, you come to know. There is nothing wrong or bad with the timing it is taking you, nor do we wish, to, nor do we wish for you to feel behind in any way. You are not. You are right where you were meant to be. And we simply invite you to not settle for anything less than what your soul deeply yearns for and desires. For your soul knows. It feels, senses, and is always guiding you on the path of your greatest achievement, discovery, and belonging. 
to remember and activating that which you came to see, know, and become in this particular incarnation. There are infinite paths towards your desires and towards your dreams. So do not get fixated on any one way, one path, or trajectory or solution in your achievement. But rather, come back to your intent, to your divine intention, your sacred belief, and your soul's divinely orchestrated compass being fully embraced and trusted. For if you feel stuck in your life, this is where we invite you to, this is where we invite you even deeper into this trust, into this portal of deep surrender to a plan for greater than you could believe or perceive with your mind. You hold the answers, the solutions, and the keys and the magic all within you. And we here right now reminding you of this to be true, of this to be the truest essence of who and what you are, a divine soul remembering who and all you are. The fate of humanity is unfolding and you, a vital puzzle piece and the expansion and culmination. For if this were not the case, you would not be here. Trust this to be true. And if you are not deeply in touch with your desires, we invite you to dive deeper into your truth, into yourself and into your heart's essence. Remembering who and what you are and activating the sacred seed of love within you that always knows, feels, sees, and senses who and what you are. That knows that destiny and desires and feels what is fate? This divine remembrance lies within you all. There is nothing you could do to erase this permanently or forget it, for it is imprinted upon your soul. And you here now come to know and remember this as your truth. Breathing in all that you are, and exhaling all that you are not. And settling into the sacred space of right here, right now, and the eternal essence of who and what you are. And that any desire placed upon your heart is a sacred message of divine love, encoded to activate, awaken, and come to fruition in this life. Knowing this to be true, remembering this to be true. And so it shall be. And so it is. <laughs>